So, hi, it's Salsa Ray here, and Dominique I'm filming. like to eat. Huh? Let's just say I'm filming. And Dominique <laughs> is filming, and she would like to eat salmon and broccoli and pasta salad. Us single moms do not have time to be cooking everything from scratch, so basically, this is actually pretty convenient because it's already frozen and you can like put it in a bag and put it in a microwave, you know, that's what I'm doing. This is almost like one of the easiest things to cook. Pasta salad is already the seasoning in there for you. Everything, all of this could be finished in like an hour. You know, I can basically whip this up in an hour and a lot of mothers want to do stuff quickly. We don't have a lot of time to be sitting here cooking all the time. Someone asked me to do a cooking tutorial. This would be my first cooking tutorial I've actually thought about doing it a lot because you know a lot of women don't know how to cook especially women who have careers <laughs> and have lots of children thank god I only have one I'm filming but, and she's filming <laughs> but I just want to show you guys what I'm going to cook and then later on I'll show you how I prepare everything okay okay he's biting the door you can't see it but he keeps Keep Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? I don't, I don't know. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> so here is my four pieces of wild salmon. And what I'm going to do is use foil to bake it. I like to keep the kitchen clean while I'm cooking and afterwards I don't want to have a whole bunch of um, dishes to wash so I use foil so I can easily have a good cleanup after I finish cooking so I'm gonna put these four pieces of salmon into the foil and try to center them properly because when they finish it's gonna be so juicy I want to make sure there's enough foil hanging off the side so the juice won't fall all over the place. Going into the refrigerator, getting some butter. I actually like margarine. I use sea salt, not regular salt. And you don't pour a lot of sea salt, you just do a half a tablespoon. You do a half a tablespoon of season. Oh, I don't really like Morton's. I like Maury's seasoning salt, but my daughter's father and my daughter like Morton's. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper on top of the salmon. I wonder why my arm is ashy like that. I wonder what that is like. Is that ash on my arm? I need some lotion on that arm. Anyway, I'm, I'm putting butter on each piece of salmon individually. And then I'm gonna put a piece of foil on top of the salmon. And like I said, it's so gonna be so juicy. Once I take it out of the oven, I wanna make sure that it doesn't, you know, spill over. So see how I'm folding it? kind of turn it into a pocket so everything could be nice and almost like a um, little bowl or like a little hot pocket like an origami pocket of salmon I don't know I don't know what else to call it I set the oven to 400 I usually cook everything on 400 that's like a safe temperature to me. And then I'm going to put my salmon inside of the oven, ashy armed and all. Okay. Here is the steam fresh frozen vegetables I'm going to use, which is a bag that you can actually cook the um, vegetables in. That is the canola oil that I will be using for the pasta salad that I love. Me and Dominique love that pasta salad. God, I love it. Yeah, I'm trying to clean off that, clean off that lens there with my finger. Still not stopping that sunshine glare. What up, players? 
<laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and fix the pasta salad. I put some boiling water in the pot and I'm going to pour the pasta. Pasta comes in a bag and we have seasoning. And so I'm gonna put so I'm gonna put the pasta into the boiling water. Don't oh, don't jump it. Look to do. Look at the mess you made. Where is it? Where is it? Even? Eat that button. Eat it. Look at the mess you made. <laughs> he walked right past me. <laughs> Sorry. After I put the pasta in here, I'm going to go over to here. So let's go over here. And I'm going to add canola oil to the seasoning. So, I guess I'm just going to have to use the measuring cup. canola oil I want to put in. You're only supposed to put in a certain amount of oil. So this is a teaspoon. <laughs> this is a teaspoon. I got it. So two, two is a tablespoon. So I'm going to add four. And then I'm going to add some <laughs> you keep doing this. <laughs> I'm yawning and I don't want to yawn like right in the thing. I'm just gonna add some cold water from here because I know it's cold. And I'm gonna stir. Hey, bud. And stir and stir. And keep stirring. Okay? Ew. It's gonna turn like oily and a little. You gotta uh, stir it a lot to get the chunks out. Right? So, yeah. Gotta kind of stir it up. So. So you want to stir the pasta because it'll get stuck. You want to continuously stir. Stir until it gets soft. Or you don't want it too mushy so you don't want to cook it too long because once it's mushy, it's kind of nasty. So now that the noodles are finished, they're nice and soft. I'm going to strain them. This is a strainer. I'm going to strain it. And then I'm going to take the strained noodles, put them in this bowl for safekeeping. <laughs> and then I'm going to take the seasoning and oil and pour it on to the pasta. And then stir. Stir it really nice and good because you want to get the seasoning and the oil all over the pasta. Now I'm not really a canola oil type of person. I pretty much like olive oil, but we don't have any olive oil, but olive oil is the best oil to cook um, anything with. It's, it's better for your body than regular oil, like vegetable oil. Uh, canola oil is even good. But olive oil is the best. So we got the pasta ready, right? Yes. Pasta set. Hey, bud. Okay, so. <laughs> this is what next. I actually swapped out the broccoli because we're trying to avoid cheese. Mm. Yeah, so. You like cauliflower, what do you mean? I know, but I want broccoli. Broccoli's it, it's broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. Cheese. It doesn't have cheese. No, you don't need any cheese. There's a reason why we avoid in cheese. Don't let, her, don't let her fool you. <laughs> so this is a steam fresh frozen vegetables bag. So really all you have to do is sit it inside of the microwave for a certain amount of time. So depending upon what kind of microwave you have, depends upon how many minutes you put it in the microwave. So I'm gonna put it in the microwave for five Mix. <laughs> so, this is bird's eye for those of you that don't know. Bird's eye. So, put it in. Read it. It says this side up when microwaving. So, this is the side that we're going to have up, okay? Put it in the microwave. Bam. Five. Clear. Cook time. 5 30. Start. <laughs> and we'll just wait for that. Oh, you know what we can do in the meantime? We can 
can check the fish. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna take the fish out. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna take the fish out and check on it and see what it looks like. All right. It's already in here for, I put it in here for what, 30 minutes? It's been an additional 10 minutes. I'm gonna check it out, see what it looks like. Ooh. Ew. Did you say ill? I said ew. Oh, looks good, doesn't it? Yes. Looks well done. You should put honey on it. I should put honey on it? Yeah, because that's you what daddy it? that's what daddy does. Well no, he puts it on before he puts well, it on. Well I put butter on it that's, and that's fine. seasoning and pepper. That's cool. And yeah. So anyway, I'll put honey next time. How about that? Yeah. So yeah. So it looks good, right? Yeah. Let's close it back up. Keep it keep it nice and warm. Steam coming off that fish. Ah, delicious. Let's go. Usually they say tear here. Here's a tear. I want to poke a little hole in it. You left the microwave open. Always clean up after yourself when cooking. Yeah, as you go. A lot of people don't do that. I clean up as I go. All right, clean up as I go. Just to make this easier to tear. Don't spill anything on your phone. Your phone isn't oh, water resistant. <laughs> that didn't help. Ugh. This is like horrible. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Hey, bud. You're not in the shot, but. Tear it. Let's tear it some more. Mm. How to get it in here. Oh, look at that. It's steamy. So, put that over here in the trash can. is really far. Yeah, it's in the shot. It's so, way back there. Some oh. Broccoli and some cauliflower. And there you have it. What did it take me, an hour? Kind of, sort of. Six. Here, come zoom in. Oh, okay. Yay. Here, you want it? It's so good. Yes, I do. That's I've mine. I've tried some, so. Do you want me to stop now? If you have any more suggestions about what kind of tutorials you would like for me to do, please let me know. I will be happy to do more cooking tutorials like you guys asked, more dating tutorials like you guys asked more tech tutorials like you guys asked. I appreciate the video topic suggestions, okay? That vision is stay focused. Bye.